Welcome to the Telabs Optical Land series, Fundamentals Upon. This video is on basics of operation. The purpose of this video is to provide a rudimentary understanding of the operation of the optical land system. This video serves as an introduction to optical land operation. For more comprehensive training, see the link in the description. The topics covered in this video are an introduction to the Panorama EMS and an introduction to the key functions of the Panorama Pond client. Panorama Pond Element Management System allows customers to manage and monitor Telebs equipment, including Telebs Optical Line Terminals and Telebs Optical Network Terminals. The Panorama Pond EMS server can be installed on a Windows platform running the Windows Server OS. The Panorama Pond EMS client can be installed on the same platform as a server or on individual user computers. The client can also be accessed through a web-based interface. Each Telebs network element is uniquely identified by a management IP address. This IP address is used to create a secure interface between the EMS and the NE. Direct management of the NE can be established through a trusted SSH or locally using a serial port console interface. Functionality of the network is not dependent on the Panorama server. However, there are certain functions that can only be initiated by the server. The EMS provides two important functions. First, it provides a conduit for secured provisioning across the entire access network. Second, it is a storehouse for backup information from the network. Two databases are kept in the optical LAN system, the local database and the global database. The local database has only provisioning information that is important to the OLT node. It is recorded and kept in non-volatile memory at the OLT. The global database has a record of the local database of all associated OLTs along with all Panorama system parameters and log files. It is recommended that the global database be backed up on a regular basis. The Panorama Client provides several tools that help facilitate operation of the Optical LAN access network. These include an Equipment Supervisor, Interface Manager, Alarm and Event Monitor, Provisioning Tools, and a Software Supervisor. The Equipment Application provides a visual indication of ONT provisioning status. Slots for ONTs can be active, pre-provisioned, or missing, and blank where no provisioning is present. The Equipment Tree View provides a visual hierarchy of OLTs, pond ports, and ONTs. This interface shows active alarms and has quick pull-down menus to check on the status of each unit. The Ports application supports provisioning and monitoring of uni ports and pond interfaces. Profiles can be created and applied here to provide provisioning for each interface. Also, the status of each interface is available for troubleshooting. Uplinks are established, edited, and monitored in the LAGS application. Once a LAG is established, a trunk can be created by adding VLANs through the switching application. The Alarms view allows the user to see list of current alarms and alarm history for the optical LAN network. The alarm application shows the severity levels, location, and probable causes for each alarm. Panorama provides several ways to provision ONTs. ONTs can be added through pre-provisioning, either individually or bulk configuration, auto configuration, or by using the unexpected ONT feature using pre-installed ONTs. Each ONT is provisioned to a specific address using an ONT type, serial number, and an ONT label. A profile is a collection of provisioning parameters that can be applied to a PON or service port. This allows for the consistent provisioning of interfaces across the entire access network. Profiles can also be used to dynamically make changes to all interfaces that have been assigned to the profile. Making a change to a profile will create a change in every port that has been assigned to that profile across the entire network. 
Initially, use your network interfaces are provisioned according to the ONT Ethernet port template. Profiles are assigned our network access control, port, power over Ethernet, rapid span entry protocol, port authentication, and link layer discovery protocol. These profiles dictate the behavior and port settings for the access port. The NAT profile dictates the service profile used for the port. The service profile identifies the VLAN and QoS of the Uniport services. This service profile can be assigned by default or by using 802.1x authentication to determine the VLAN used. The ONT template is a collection of profiles that can be used to create defaults on ONTs when they are registered into the system. Templates can be used to establish a common ONT port configuration that can be replicated as ONTs are installed. For the security of the switch, software is upgraded using the Panorama Pond GUI. This allows for a secure and efficient transition to newer software releases. Software is first downloaded to the OLT and ONT equipment. This process is not service affecting. Then the switch process can be initiated, one any at a time. This process is service affecting. However, downtime can be shortened significantly using pawn protection groups. The download process can be initiated using the scheduling application to provide a download to all or selected ONTs at a determined time and date. This concludes this video. In it, we have discussed an introduction to the Panorama EMS and an introduction to the key functions of the Panorama Pong client.